Kanye West was reportedly so impressed by a homeless man that he asked him to run his presidential campaign in 2024. In a new BBC documentary called The Trouble with Kanye, presenter and investigative journalist Mabeen Azhar traveled to Cornerstone Christian Church, a church he frequently attends in California. During his visit, he met a man named Mark who lived in his car outside the church and claimed Kanye West took a major liking to him. They all said I was the most religiously erudite in the room, Mark said about one of his meetings with Yi and his political inner circle. Kanye started looking to me for my opinion on every topic that came up. So much so, he said Yi reached out to him to head up his presidential campaign. He called me the following Monday, the Monday before Thanksgiving, he said. The first thing he said to me was, I want you to be my campaign manager to run for president. Mark said he was fascinated that Kanye West chose him to join the campaign, but added, God chose me. We're all actors. Kanye West reportedly pulled out of the 2024 presidential race in April after wanting to be left alone. As other Republican presidential hopefuls ramp up their White House bids, West's political team of far-right influencers has found a new foe, each other, the Daily Beast reported at the time. After once working together to elect West, or at least get him more attention through media appearances on fringe outlets like InfoWars, West campaign staffers like, Nick, Fuentes, January 6 rally organizer Ali Alexander, and British provocateur Milo Yiannopoulos have turned on one another. Filmmaker Adam Camacho, who was hired to document the presidential campaign, recalled Kanye telling him, Right now, I am living my life, like I'm concentrating on the school the Donda Academy, and my new wife, and my kids, and that's it. I just want to be left alone. However, Kanye West reportedly re-entered the upcoming presidential race in May after rehiring alt-right figure Milo Yiannopoulos as the campaign manager after having a fallout with fellow alt-right extremist Nick Fuentes.